Kill me an ant, toss me a peanut. I got another one I've been fooling with a little bit here. Uh, see, Earl Scruggs always chimed the banjo and played it, you know, and I found out she can do that claw hammer, see. Wouldn't be as good as Earl Scruggs, but it's, uh, I can do it, a little bit of it. Sandy River Bell, okay. that's all right. We got a heavy for the record, Bill. Well, I'd rather not be on the road. <laughs> <laughs> for the record. Back in 1985, I did a tour where I did 56 shows, and I had the blood run out of this finger here. I switched over to that, and I got down to this one. 
and I had uh, 36 shows that was did without mics, and it just wore my fingers into the bone. And, uh, but if you don't pick, you know, you, you run into that. Then I would play a little bit of Cripple Creek. seven cassette tapes with me and a few eight tracks and a few albums. But uh, I met a guy down there from Michigan who wanted me to, you know, send him some prices on albums and tapes and I haven't done that either. Kind of back. That banjo institute uh, sure had a lot of people. They had 481 banjo players down there. And they made a picture, big sweeping pictures, about, about three foot long to get all those players in there put them on bleachers and everything. That, that was really a nice event they had done. Well, I'll play a little bit of Red Wing.
started doing that, you know, trying to you know, hold out on the words, you know, longer. And I messed up two or three songs trying to do it because I was holding too long. What I wound up doing was dragging. And uh, the thing of it is, you got to find out where the stopping off point is, you know, whether you drag it out too much or you can't drag it out too much, but if you rush your song, they just don't sound right. <laughs> This one's on the record, it's just not too low for me. Plumber Stockade Boo. Supervising me on uh, making an album, why well, 